Alpha Lab Sector 1 Phase Deconstructor and Hydrocon System carries new technology that transforms raw, mat raw materials native to Mars into reusable res well into usable resources. The primary EPD. Well, anyways, welcome everyone back to Marine. I see one report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. Can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. Sure, sure. Oh yeah, cunt. Anyways, uh, welcome everyone back to Doom 3. Now uh, we're left off. I did clean up this room over here, but just for check out uh, I think I feel like it. I shot the guy in, in the ribs. There you go, he's he did. zombies in the head so they can't eat you. But ironically as well too, there was actually a zombie that had absolutely no head. So how did that shot that guy? I don't know, I just did. Anyways. <laughs> I did only because I got my flashlight, so yeah. The fuck is he? It's a pistol, so who would care? Oh, that's it, see? I mean, pistols, there's like a lot of them for the pistol, so there's that. And I mean, oh. I think I did basic times. But as I was saying as well, too, for fuck's sake. As I was saying as well, too, I mean, the pistols can be again if I have to dispatch like weaker enemies. Just for the heck of it, because why not, right? Well, that's where they all came from. And of course, just a pint, because what the hell not. Uh, one doors, primary lights, on. Oh, just jump out of my way. Sweet. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. I Please follow is. UAC procedures. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Also, fuck this coffee. <laughs> fuck this uh, laptop. And fuck whatever this thing is. That doesn't matter. Alright, everything here checks out well. Let's just enter the area. Patient security clearance has been locked down. Alright, I, I see how it is. I need to get some body armor over here. A few zombies here. Usually in quick time, in an open event like this, with a light to crawl in their side for a few of supplies. As I recall, but not in Doom 3, even though I mean the engine is a bit. Advanced. Uh, uh, he hey, I pissed off the wrong guy. But he still got him. Uh, he's gonna get crashed in, so. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Uh, I think you guys call Z Sec uh, gods. If you're Z Sec or not, I really don't care. I mean, gun comes Z Sec for for the heck of this. What the, the fuck is falling? Oh. The funny thing is, I mean, these, even these lights even give a bit of a sound. What does it matter? I like it. Oh, hey. Ah. Overkill for a small, for small fry, I'd say. Anyway, let him come closer. <laughs> also keep my uh, submachine gun out. Cause why? I think it, I think it's cute. I fucking knew it. Piece of shit. They heard the shot too. Alright, so what For do you Generations, got humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, metals. petrochemicals, Ooh. food, water, and to meet that need, UAC research. 
researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of all, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. The funny thing is, well, too, Mac, like, even in the life, people are trying to do that as well, too. Now, if this game is actually going to be done like that, it's going to be actually be Ah, they fucked off. But I mean, if there's like someone like a Doom 3 as a. As a fuck. It's uh, it has the electroshock over there, but again, I mean, if it's really gonna be as it is, because let's admit, Mars, as we know it, as of now, is just a, a big wasteland. talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. Mm. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. Mm. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to... Fucker. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. And we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of line. Convenient, I'd say. Hey. What the hell is shooting at me? Okay, fuck you too, buddy. Oh, so if you need some, there's some mag. Ooh! Shot shells, too, even. Good. I'm gonna sneeze. the game here because we all know how bad things can go. Wait, let us do 
this thing. Why am I even going through here? Oh shit! Oh fucking shit! That's how you can't.
Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another Gas back leak stop. from the Fire team. extinguished. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. And we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be growing up as well, because according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and of law. That's a good measure. Got a barrel though. Uh oh. What are you shooting at? Well, take care of that. Nice room for my extra P90. I really love it.
goody. Very, very goody.
deserve a Nobel Prize for that. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen, cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. You think it's a good idea? Glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrocon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. If I don't get the Hydrocon operating within acceptable levels, it could blow. Uh, good luck up here. Oh, 
also see a demon's will too. Yeah, we know what I'm not thinking of. He lied. Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth. No way. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone. Stores hydrogen fuel, new molecular fuel, storage compactor. Here at the UAC, we make Okay. Random body parts. Okay, good. Some of that good snack. Play through with too much all this, you know, just to just know what I'm up against. Oh, 
computer wouldn't be any more creepy now, wouldn't it? Oh, no spooky jump scares this time, or what would it be? Hmm? animation actually <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as i did and i look forward to the next one so hope to see you guys next time and until then